The Healthy Homes Te Tai Tokero Collective of Northland funders are keen to continue the success they have made in insulating homes in Northland. Currently 8,000 have been successfully insulated with the support of government with ICA along with these funders. Manaya PHO CEO Chris Farrelly outlined the history and success of the project. The government through ICA had or instituted a program whereby if a local community could raise funds they would give us dollar for dollar or in fact they'd give us $60 for every $40 we could raise to insulate our poorest homes and that was the, the, um, the birth, the birth time of Healthy Homes Tautokorel which was a coalition of um, a number of people coming together, funders, uh, North Power, Top Energy, Northland District Health Board, Manaya PHO, Te Tautokoro PHO and the, what was in the ASBC Trust came together and we would raise funds and ICA, Energy Efficiency Conservation Authority would, would give us 50 to 60 percent more or, six, or 60 dollars for every 40 dollars. So in the first year we insulated four or five hundred homes, second year a couple of thousand and now we've just finished our eight eight thousandth home we've insulated. Bearing in mind that most of the people living in these homes are our poorest and our highest need and these homes are on world health standards below the standard for human habitation. They are cold, they are damp, they have mould and they're not fit many of them for human habitation. So this has been a, a tremendous event for Northland over the last seven years and we've, as I said, insulated 8,000 homes. The problem is there's still another 8,000 homes that have, are yet to be insulated and the money, the government subsidies for this program finishes in June. So we're halfway through, we're halfway through the, through the process and we want to make sure that this process is completed. Our local funders are prepared to continue to fund. We need ongoing government funding to assist us to complete this program. And that's why this is really quite critical at this time. Um, the funding, the current funding, finishes in June, June this year. However, there are still about 8,000 homes to be insulated, with government funding a possibility to end in June 2016, which would have widespread negative effects on the community most in need going into a Northland winter. We are one of the poorest communities in New Zealand and as a result of that poverty we have a lot of avoidable sickness and disease. We have children going into our hospitals, into our clinics every day with respiratory diseases, we've got a high rheumatic fever incidence over the years and this could be avoided and completely wiped out if the homes these people were living in were warm. The cost of insulating a home is just $3,000. The saving to New Zealand as a whole would be many, 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 many thousands of dollars uh, more, more than that.